on True Client Pro, when you need to edit the client's information, on the main menu bar, you can see Client as a second tab. Find the client that you're looking to edit. Click on the edit icon and it will expand into all the further information. Let's have a high level look at what's in the client details. Your required field is first name, your email, and that's about it. Keep in mind that throughout the application, whenever you see a mulberry color text, so you see that here, uh, contact details, last name, and various fields. Those fields are visible to your client through the client portal, as well as they're able to interact with many of the fields. Many of these fields are smart fields. What does that mean? That means they automatically show up on various types of place, various types of places, such as proposal, contract, your reports. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of those fields. First name, definitely mobile, their email address, phone number. So for the contract, make sure the address is added here in order for it to show up on the contract. If your client has social media and they're very active on social media and you want to you know, tag them, of course, we're not gonna remember all the client's social media at all given time. So what you can do is have them fill it out or you can simply ask them through our client and chat uh, feature and say, hey, could you add your social media so you can follow them, you can see their Pinterest link and various things you can do. Here under social media, you can also see how this specific client found you. It's a great way to track how you landed that specific client because then you know in future you can actually invest into that specific resource uh, for your business. And all of this is completely customizable. So anywhere you see a drop down menu, that means that you can customize this under the left hand uh, setting gear right here, and then go under company settings and customizable field. The next thing is communication details. So the client can indicate when they're able to speak to you. Many of the clients, you know, they work nighttime and they're sleeping in the day. So you want to figure that out and respect their times as well. This small but mighty little section down here. So this if you check this box, and again, this field, as you can see, is responsible party for the contract, which is visible to the client. And if they are the responsible party, they should click this on. That means automatically their name and their address and information will populate on the contract. Here, you can see this is not visible to the client. You can actually, when you add the client, you can either turn on the notification or turn off the notification. And if this person is going to be the day of the contact, you can also put a checkbox there. Let's say this client is a lead and on True Client Pro, all clients are leads till they one of their project turns active. If they did not book you, you can come here and check this box and you can choose to archive it. This helps you track like which lead booked and which didn't. It also cleans up your dashboard nicely. And note that there is internal notes. That means the client cannot see this. So this is on a high level about a client. Hope this helps you figure out the client details. And I'm going to just let you know what other things you can add. You might be wondering that, hey, I have another person that I like to add. What you can do is you can go to additional contact and watch a video there on how to add the secondary person. So that could be the spouse, the mother, the planner, various people. But within this uh, client, let's say, let's talk a little bit about this notification here, okay? So once you turn on the notification, if you are filling this out for the first time and you save, they're automatically going to get a notification. Always ask them to check their spam box and put that into an inbox. If the client did not get 
the email notification. There is this button right here, send access details. So you can click on that and they will automatically get a email link to this portal. But if they say, no, they still haven't gotten it. What you can do is go to the setting gear and this company setting. And in the company profile, there is a customer login. So you can absolutely give them this link and just let them know that with this link, they can log on with the address that they registered or you've added. Another thing to note under the client, when you are working with a client and they do not receive the notification, make sure their email address is correctly spelled. That is a super important thing. If you still are having trouble uh, understanding any of this, feel free to chat us. Our chat is on the bottom right hand corner and you can email us at support at trueclientpro.com.